President Trump not backing down from his focus on the southern border crisis, swiping at Dems who refuse to come to the table as monthly migrant crossings break all kinds of records. Watch here. Congress must also act to fix, however, our horrible, obsolete, weak, pathetic immigration laws. We could solve the entire problem. I say 45 minutes, but it could go a lot quicker than that. Mm, this is just hours after President Trump tweeted this. Take a look, calling out Mexico here for doing so little to alleviate this whole crisis. Mexico soldiers recently pulled guns. We talked about that actually last night on the show on our National Guard soldiers, uh, probably as a diversionary tactic for drug smugglers on the border. Better not happen again. We are now sending armed soldiers to the border. Mexico is not doing nearly enough in apprehending and returning. Here with me right now, Texas Attorney General, Republican Ken Paxton. Welcome back. Good to see you. I'm going to start you. by asking you, do you need soldiers? Do you need people there uh, from our military policing the border? Has it reached that level of crisis in your view? That's a great question. It is the worst that I've seen it in the over a decade that I've been going to the border. I've never seen anything like this. The numbers are huge. And obviously that has a huge impact on my state as it relates to drug smuggling, human trafficking, and other crimes that are affecting people in my state. You know, one of the things that I'm struck by in this whole um, immigration debate, one, the hypocrisy of the Dems uh, in terms of what they used to say versus what they say now, because there was a time actually when they wanted more security and uh, stronger borders. Uh, it, but, you know, you think about <laughs> the president offering sir, to, to send them to, say, Nancy Pelosi's district or, you know, to Gavin Newsom's state or to New York City where, you know, hey, it's Sanctuary City. Shouldn't Bill de Blasio and Nancy Pelosi and all these other politicians that keep saying we need open borders, shouldn't they be welcoming these people as opposed to leaving the burden on all of you in places like Texas and Arizona? You're making my exact point. It's so easy for for people from you know another state that doesn't have the same border issues as we do. We have 65 percent of the border, so mm -hmm. those costs and those um, effects, as I said, human trafficking, smuggling, those are all on Texans, and so it's a huge issue for us. And, and maybe it isn't so much for northern states, but eventually, it's going to affect them too. Yeah, yeah. You, you just uh, you have to scratch your head on this one because it, it seems like, yeah, they're all for open borders until maybe the burden becomes something that they have to deal with on their doorstep. Let me ask you about the human tragedy in all of this, right? Because a lot of people want to say, oh, this is so mean. You should just let them in. Of course, let them in. But are we encouraging violence by encouraging people to come here in the first place, given the coyotes, given these caravans, given the money that takes place and some of the abuse we've seen of young women and girls. Look, I think part of the problem here is a lot of these politicians don't know people that have been affected by the, the problem that we have on mm -hmm. our border. I know people. I've talked to some of these families who have lost their, their, their sisters and their brothers and their, their sons and daughters. And I've also talked to people that have been affected by human trafficking. It is devastating. We have hundreds of thousands uh, of cases of, of human trafficking in, in my state and others that have a devastating impact on the lives of, of so many young women. How does it end? How does it stop? I, talk, I, I spoke recently with someone who said to me, uh, someone who was very close uh, to members of the Hispanic community, said, you know, I don't know how it stops because people see this as the land of opportunity, and I get it, you know, this is a great country. Uh, and they think, well, if they can come here, that it's gonna be so much easier and they're gonna have an easier life. So how do we, knowing that they wanna be here and having such a porous border, how do we fully stop this, Ken? Look, there's, this is a balancing. We have to decide what kinds of policies we want in place, but we need a process that actually works, that works, works for our country, mm -hmm. and then we need to close off the border. So we need to decide what our policy is, but no matter what, we have to have some way of stopping people from crossing that are a danger to our, to our people. Yeah, and that shouldn't be a political thing, right? <laughs> That's it didn't exactly used right to that. be, but uh, you know, the Democrats have certainly not. made it one. Uh, Ken, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining the show tonight. 